Welcome to my lounge. I've been talking on a forum about cartomizers and cleaning cartomizers, and you know how I suggest you clean cartomizers, and that is uh, pour boiling water on them, let them soak, put them in a turkey baster, draw water through and push it out, put them in a little bag and spin like hell so that the centrifugal force expels all the water. Well, the discussion on the forum is that inside, if you do that over time, your cartomizers will become really horrible and yucky inside. Now, I am going to show you carts that I got in August 2011. And I'm looking inside them. I've been told to look inside them and see how yucky they are and how full of gunge they are. Now I'm showing you that these in fact seem as white as snow. What is down the central hole? I'm not sure. I'm going to take a look. Here's another one. This has been marked, I know it's an old one, because it was marked with um, nail varnish, so that I could tell what flavour was in. Again, have a look. It's very clean and white and fluffy looking inside. This one is brand new, has never been filled. Also as white as snow. I'm going to attack one of my old cards and pull out the middle and see what gunge lurks there. Here comes the attack. Oh, I feel like a murderess. Fork. Fork in the cart. Pull like crazy. Out comes the batting and all the internal bits. Poor cart. Let's see what it looks like. That's the atomizer end. And this is the white a snow end that I could see. That is the atomizer end. I'm looking for gunge. Can I see gunge? Well, there's a bit of blackness where the atty sits. And a small amount in the wadding there. But otherwise, the whole thing is pretty clean. So I'm showing you the insides of a cartomizer that has been cleaned over and over since August 2011. So that is my now murdered cartomizer. Here is the wadding unfolded. This looks like a little tube of wadding that surrounded this, which went down the centre of the cartomizer. And that's the tube, now empty. Though I have to tell you a funny story. I had a cluster of cartomizers in this little muslin bag the other day when I was cleaning them. And I put my fingers in the loop and I spun the bag around as I do to get rid of the water by centripetal force. And there must have been a hole in the bag because the bag simply exploded. And it was like a nail bomb or during an attack from a machine gun. All the cartomizers were flung out all around my kitchen. I had to look and find them. They'd all been thrown out with such force. I wondered if they'd ever work again. But I'm pleased to inform you that after I'd found all of them, and it took me several days to do so, I find 
They seem to be working, even though they have been badly treated. So I have great admiration for cartomizers, great admiration for the ones I use, and my favorite are the shorter carts, the ordinary short cart that fits the V3, the shorter cartomizer, the longer cartomizer, which takes more fluid, doesn't seem to last as long, is not so easy to clean, and burns hot sometimes. These small cards are very good value for money. They seem to go on forever and ever. Thanks for vaping with me.